Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how to turn the siren confirmation chirps on and off using a two-way remote control on a CompuStar alarm system. This should work on all two-way remotes, but some programming may be required. I'll go over the programming part later in the video. Before you start, make sure all the doors are closed and the engine should be turned off. I have the chirps on right now. So to turn the chirps off, I'll press the lock and unlock button together Put a finger over each one and tap them together. So that turned off the siren confirmation for locking and unlocking the car, but if the alarm is triggered, then the siren will still sound. So let's give it a test. And only the OEM alarm beeps, the siren doesn't chirp anymore. If you want to turn the chirps back on, just do the same thing again. Tap the lock and unlock buttons together and the chirps are back on now. So that was pretty easy, but unfortunately this option is not available out of the box for all CompuStar alarm systems, especially newer ones. If you try to do this and you get an error, that means it's disabled. I installed the alarm myself, so I will show you how I enabled it, but if you had it installed professionally, you can ask your installer to enable it. So the feature I need to program is found in programming menu number one, and it's number 16. The option is disabled by default, so I'm going to set it to enabled. To enter menu 1, I'll have to press lock and unlock button together for 3 seconds, and I'll have to do this twice in a row. I'll start by long pressing the lock and unlock button for 3 seconds. Now press them again for 3 seconds. And I'll press the key button. 1, 2, 3, 4, and I'll keep going here until I reach 16 for option number 16. So that was number 16. Now I'll wait until the alarm beeps back and flashes 16 times. So the alarm beeped 16 times, now I'm going to have to wait for the lights to flash 16 times. And it's done, now I'll tap the unlock to enable the option. And now I should be able to turn off the siren. And it's working. If you want to set this option back to disabled, just do the same procedure again but tap lock instead of unlock at the end. So I hope that helped. If you liked the video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I have more interesting videos on the way. Thanks for watching.